That's all taken care of. That was really fun, actually. I did not expect that to be so enjoyable. Let's report back to our awesome little chibi friends. What do you have to say, my good friends? It's taken care of. Yay! And they gave us some money! Alright. Let's see. And they're already allies with us, which is fantastic. And there's no tasks to take care of. Well, that's just great. Oh, actually, because they, they've settled on two places, can I talk with uh, either planet and get missions, I wonder? Greetings! Oh, oopsie daisy, that's not the missions. Oh, we can! A fundamental right of all or citizens is to be free from violence and fear. Yet the inhabitants of Naglash have militized their society and now can constitute a threat not only to our civilization, but to the peace of the galaxy. Will you stand with us against this menace? Hmm. So we need to neutralize the aggressive forces. You've in you have demonstrated the instincts of a good galactic citizen. While we deplore the necessity of using violence against intelligent species, in this case the inhabitants of Nogladash have shown themselves immune to reason, and we lack an alternative. See, that's the kind of reasoning I can get behind a laser gun with. Please travel to Nogladash and destroy or capture all cities. <laughs> okay, I will leave smoking holes where once there were proud cities. See, somehow the chibis, just with their, their kind words, have managed to convince us. Okay, run, 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 run. We don't want to get shot out. Have managed to convince us to participate in full out war. Kind of amazing. All right, let's recharge. Anything to trade? Not quite. Whew. Well, all right. And where am I supposed to? Oh, here, huh? Um, is that another spacefaring empire? I don't think that's going to end well. That's probably going to launch me into war with them. Chibis, I think that that you might be a little more dubious and, uh, and war producing than I gave you credit for. Alright, we've got a ton of red spice that we can trade. Let's pop over here and see how our little yellow spice planet's doing. And I hope they're doing okay. Look at them! I'm so proud of you! Good job, you guys. You've produced quite a bit. If I trade you... No, they don't want our spice for very much. Alright, well I think... Our next goal is going to be to get some of the green planets. And... Let's see. Ooh. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Oh! There we go! That's much better! Much better, much better. So now we're starting to pull in the major cash. Look at that! And a medium energy storage unit. We'll have to think about that. Well, all right. Let's see. Do we still have a chance at that pink planet? Is it? It's not. It's not taken care of yet. So let's pop over the chibis, and we will get that pink planet going. And then I'm going to save up some money so that we can terraform some more of our planets, and we will terraform some planets when we come back. Because I just have to kind of bump around and like collect the money. Ooh, they'll take our yellow spice for quite a bit too. Thank you, my friends. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of borrow that from you. And then let's see. I'm gonna borrow this from you. All right, now we've got, we've got a couple colony and credit packs, so we can colonize a couple more planets. Very important. Kind of considering trying out colonizing this system right here, and just sort of. Seeing what we want to do with those guys. We might, uh, cough, cough, take over that alien system or not. Um, don't know about that one. Alright, we're gonna pop down here. Ooh, and there's something, something here. And this is actually a T1. Ooh, so we'll be able to get pink spice. Oh, there we go. Right there. Come here, you. Come here. A little bit closer. No, I threw it! Come back! It's floating! It's floating high in the sky! Gotcha! Come here! And now we can make a tentacle plateau. Well, that's unique. And this planet, can we paint it any specific colors? Other than blue? Purple? Well, let's make it a purple planet, just because we can. Do -do 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 Boom! Wow, that's really purple. Alright, and then let's go ahead 
and get another colony down here because we are starting to get some serious mojo going. And we'll put it between a couple of these spice, spice geysers so it's not hard for these guys to work. And how is their T-score? Their T-score is pretty stable. We might need to scan a few of the things, figure out what they are. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. So we have got it. We did it, you guys. We managed to get our little colony all set up on this planet. So this is our pink planet. And now we're gonna start pulling in some pink spice and hopefully getting enough money that we can really take off and start terraforming everything. So let's see, what kind of little house do we wanna put down here? You know, actually, I know it seems a little odd, but I think like little British houses. Why not? Let's just do this, this cute little British cottage house. Absolutely adorable. And we're gonna get the factory put down so that they can be uh, churning out our pink spice really quickly. Hmm, no, not the concert stage. Not feeling the concert stage for this one. For this one, we will do the little mill. Little cute little mill. Look at that. Now let's get the entertainment put down. I think it's gonna be <laughs> the mushroom mix again. Because that seems to be, I can imagine that's how the finna also eat. Like they gather kind of communally to eat in the mushroom garden. Uh, as well as be entertained. So they just kind of gather and eat their little mushrooms. That's adorable because the finna are so cute. Let's get a factory in here. And let's get an entertainment place in here. And another house. Let's see how are we going to set this up just right? No. Yes. Hmm. There we go. All right, that should be good for now. And there we go, all right. So I'm gonna like zip around and collect quite a bit of moolah. And then once we have some more spice, oh, and look at that. The beautiful rings. I think that people are gonna be very happy on this planet. Really happy, because it is just so pretty. And then once I gather up some more spore bucks so that we can afford to terraform our planets, we will work hard on getting which planets we have already terraformed and taken care of because we want to settle some of these little green planets right here so i'm going to zip around and trade some spice and we'll be back in just a little bit and we have spore bucks over a million spore bucks no less this is so exciting and it's all thanks to our wonderful little planet right here this little pink spice generating superpower these guys are amazing. They have managed to generate over a million dollars in spore bucks, primarily because of the pink spice that we gather here. And so to reward them, because now we can actually terraform our green planets. I'm so excited, our green spice plants are coming. Now that we can do that, we're gonna reward them by heating up their planet a little bit because I have realized that we do indeed have some meteor showers. So it does seem like an odd thing to reward someone with some meteors, but there we have it. We're gonna throw some meteor showers at them and then throw down some of the plants and the animals that we have and hopefully be able to stabilize everything. So let's check, let's just double check to make sure we've got everything. Medium plant, large plant, small plant. Small plant, large plant and medium plant okay that should be good and we do have some animals so hopefully we can get everything uh stabilized after we slam let's do this oh my gosh we're doing it we're doing it warm up planet i hope the colony is okay keep your shields up colony keep your shields up all right this little ocean, this little lake is forming right here. That's so fun. I love seeing how the planet shifts and changes as we work with the different atmospheric tools. So we're gonna sit here and see if we can drag it into T2. And as soon as we get there, we're gonna throw down some of these plants. I think this small plant, because it's cute. All right, and we'll put them on this little plateau. See, it's still kind of cold, so we have some of the snowflakes coming down. But hopefully, once we get it almost, ah, oh, we did it, okay, quick. All right, small plants, medium plants, and large plants. <gasps> Phew! We stabilized the T-score just in time. Oh my goodness, I thought we were gonna lose that for just a second. But there, we did it, we did it, we did it. This is going to be one of, oh, look at the plants spread. 
this is one of my favorite moments when the plants are just spreading everywhere. Oh, so cool. So cool. Oh my gosh. Is it going to go up into T3? Do I have enough for T3s? Oh, we haven't used these ones. We haven't used those ones. Ooh, ooh. Okay, quick. Let's get the herbivores down. Alright, spread and prosper, little ones. The ice monsters. Probably not the best planet for the ice planet for the ice monsters there. Alright. Alright. All right. It's it's scooching. It's scooching. Is it going to scooch anymore? And look at the poor little guy. He's just running for it. Run for it, little ones. Run for it and breed. No, oh, we were so close. So it almost went all the way into T3. But that's fantastic because now we can pop over to our little colony. And now that the T score has gone up, we can add a lot more houses and factories, which means we will be a pink spice producing superpower here, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's get, let's see, how are we doing this? Hello everyone! Hello, hello! Yay! I'm gonna reward you! I'm gonna reward you guys for being so totally awesome with some turrets because we are next to our big fish neighbors who kind of want to eat everybody. So there's some turrets to protect you. And then I'm going to get a little house and let's get down another factory. Look at that! 80 more an hour! Holy moly! Alright, and don't worry, I'm also gonna do my best to make you guys happy. There we go. Let's see, we'll figure this out. And it looks like that's all we can add for the Terra score right now, but boom! 84 an hour. And you guys, I'm also gonna reward you with a new city hall because we're still using an old city hall on this one. And I want a new city hall. This little castle! Let's do this little castle. Yeah, look at that. I love the little the little kind of a cottagey theme that we've got going on here. And then right here, We'll get a whole bunch of little fountains. Because I'm so proud of you guys. You have made our Finna Empire totally rich. Let's do these guys. The back slapping bush. Alright, we'll spread a few of these around. Oh, everyone's dancing so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, little colony. Can I rename you? We can rename the colonies! Oh my gosh! So let's see. Uh, oh wow, what the heck should we name them? What are some suggestions? Roast? Actually, ooh, Naga! That, I actually kind of like that, but let's make it more Finna-y. Uh, uh, let's see. Actually, let's, <laughs> I've been thinking with the Finna Empire, it might be cute to, uh, do like, uh, cutesy names. As awful as that sounds. So, this would be, uh, Laystale. There we go, Laystale. The her uh, the site of excellent spice management that made the Thin All Space Empire take off. Good job, you guys. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. All right, we got a new badge too. Look at that! We can get medium health, auto pulse. Let's see, mini bomb. We placed 20 colony buildings. Ooh, look at us go! Man, that's successful! It's all about finding the right planet to focus on, I suppose. Look at that! We can lead larger allied fleets and everything. We'll have to go get more, more allies soon, too. But we do still have a colony in Credipac. So I wonder if it would be smartest, instead of colonizing the green planets just yet, to get another colony here. Because right now, the pink spice is what sells for so much. There we go. I got more pink spice. So although I really... Oh wow, look at this ocean! I don't think this was here before. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So what we're going to do is actually get, let's see, right over here looks like a good spot, another colony down on this planet to really maximize what spice can be brought in. Let's see, is this a good spot for bringing in the spice? I think so. Alright, colony. Bam! 
Here we go. They're getting stabilized. They're spreading out. Stretching. The more colonies you get established on a planet, the more amount of spice it can hold and store up for you. Okay, so let's get a little house. Well, hi guys, here's a little house for you. Uh, here's a little factory for you. I know the factory is not as exciting. Um, let's get... There we go. There we go. Another little factory. Right there. There we go, a little house. Again. Wait, 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 come back here. It's kind of expensive, uh, setting this place up, but it's totally gonna be worth it. Ooh, now they're really happy. Look at them go. Super duper happy empire. Producing so much. There we go. Talk about super wealthy, jeez. And they're super happy. And we're gonna throw a couple turrets on here. And I'm even gonna give them some trees. <laughs> so this is definitely the wealthiest colony planet. I think with the trees and fountains and everything, they are actually more spoiled than our home planet in some ways. Let's, see, let's get some little, little lamps down even at the entrance. Look at that. Get some, I'm gonna switch those actually. I love how easy it is to place everything in Spore. All right, let's get, in fact, every, every entrance will have a tree and a lamp. That is how fancy we're going to reward these guys for giving us so much moolah. And we should name this colony too. So actually, let's see. Can I put you down over here? I can't, I can't see. Nope, can't put him down over there, that's okay. There we go. All right. Produce well for me, my friends. So then, yep, now they can hold up to 10 pink spice and they're producing them at a pretty quick rate. And so right now, pink spice is selling very well to our friends over here. Last I checked, they were selling pretty good to these guys. Hopefully that's still the case. Greetings, everyone! How are you, my good friends? Oh, they were taking the pink spice for 24,000 last time, so I guess we're just gonna have to be grateful it's for anything. And we'll pop around and see if uh, some of the other planets want to pay a little bit more for our lovely pink spice. Let's see, pop over here, pop over here. What about you guys? I just spent buku bucks on the pink spice. 24,000 isn't so bad. Let's see. But now that we have that planet settled, uh, let us snag this. How are you doing, guys? Oh wow, they'll buy it from 20 and they're, they're in our own empire. That's good to know. So what we're gonna do next is hop over to our chibi friends. They actually want us to go to war with another group. Whoopsie daisy, what did I just do? Uh, whoops, sorry, uh, boss, I wasn't listening. It's up to you how you want to colonize the additional star systems. Popping, popping colonies on unoccupied planets is a surefire solution. If you're ta ta finding good locations are hard to come by, you might want to consider taking systems from other species, either by brute force or by establishing trade routes with allies and purchasing them outright. Let's do this. Great, our immediate goal is to have colonies on several different star systems. There's one more thing which might be important. Our strategists have been analyzing the layouts of their empires. They haven't reached any conclusions, but the data is definitely pointing towards something. It's pointing towards the center of the galaxy. Get out there and grow our empire to seven star systems and try to pick stars that are close to the center of the galaxy. If something's out there, we'll want to know about it sooner or later. All right, well, thank you very much, boss. Wanna just give it a little recharge? Holy moly, that's what I'm talking about. Look, our own empire is gonna buy the pink spice for that much. Not a dish dish darm. Oh, but say it already. So he's pretty happy. Sweet. All right, bye, boss. We need to colonize two more star systems, apparently. But we're gonna pop up here to our good friends. The Chibis. Chibi. All right, Chibi. I would like to talk to you. Ooh, you can buy that yellow spice. There you go. And if I may, I would like both of your colony and credit packs, please. 
thank you very much for your time. And I wonder if we pop over to this friend of ours. Yep, so whenever we need to, that's so convenient that we can buy the Colony and Credit Packs for that cheap. We don't need that many right now, so we're not going to uh, purchase them. But let's pop over here, see if there's any more spice. Nope, no more spice just yet. Poor little first colony. 